Right, well, uh, here we go. This is um, another episode where I'm trying to kill the dragon. But um, it might be a light at the end of the tunnel after this episode. But uh, I'm not going to spoil that for you. You'll, um, you'll notice I've sped up the first part of the video, and there's a good reason for that. And also, when the inevitable happens, have a look at the time that was supposed to go. Because I didn't take 10.28 as I was supposed to do, but you'll find out why. But anyway, uh, the other thing I need to do before I end this segment is I need to let you know of the Dragon class. So, the dra sorry, the Dragon Mech, because I don't think they've ever actually shown it yet. So, here we go. It's a um, 60 ton mech, which is heavy. And it's uh, 86.4 kilometers an hour. Armed with one LR uh, one LRM ten, one auto cannon five, and two medium lasers. So, without much further ado, let's get this show done, and uh, hopefully, maybe we'll get something there uh, moving. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, code red. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, code red. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, code red. Yeah, shut up, you fucking man. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 2, over. Oh fuck, the dragon's- Oh my god, I did it! I killed the dragon, I have no fucking idea how I did it! Oh, thank god for the- Oh my god, right, anyway. So, continuing on, and, uh... A calm voice comes from your speaker. So you are the one who has made such an impression. And now you threaten my mobile headquarters. Who are you, mech warrior? I am Jason Youngblood of the Crescent Hawks. I am Tai Ta Chuin. Do you wish to honour us with a change of alliance or simply surrender now? 
Anger wells inside you as you reply, I do not serve the tyrants, nor will I cease fighting you for as long as I live. That was much like what your father said to me. Where is my father? you shout at his image. I have given him the highest honour. I am I uh, one I am about to give you death by combat. So we're saving and continuing. Thank God for that. Um, this one, and to you, okay. So we're gonna call it um, LP. I think this is thirteen now. Um, I can't remember because basically uh, I wasn't even sure whether I was gonna actually manage to kill a dragon. So I have no idea. Um, I'm going to guess either 13 or 14, but I'm going to put 13, dragon killed. There you go. So I know where I am now. So, okay, so this scenario, Hawk I leader, need to... Hawk this is Hawk 3, code red. Mobile HQ spotted. Okay, so where's the mobile HQ? It's there. Right, okay. So... Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, code red. Fuck off. Oh, scout, okay. I'm gonna target this. Running speed, move. I'll move over to here. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 2, code red. Panther spotted. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 2, code red. Uh, yeah, Hawk leader, this. this is Hawk 2, code red. Fuck me, Hawk it's leader, this hand. is Hawk 2, over. Oh, will you shut up? Right, fine, shut up. How far am I damaged? Where is the... No, fuck me, that's going to speed. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, over. Right, um, mobile well, HQ is inside with dropships now, fight to the death. Oh, fuck. Um, I think we're going to lose this one. Uh, Hawk gonna... leader, this is Hawk oh, 2. Oh, he's dead. Over. Consider the Panther history case. Okay, so we've, got, we've got Rommel, we've got Kikitopedia. Right, okay, so... Um, let's target the Rommel. Done. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, over. Face. You can target the Os now, scouts. Done. You can target the Rommel. Done. We've got, we got a 70, so we want to really want to shift this lot. Here, here. And there. Uh, uh, struggling to move, that's good. Let's move the lance again. able to walk, are you? No, you're pretty knackered. Shit. And, yeah. Well, at least I'm kind of much better than I was in position than I was in. Colonel Chung was not impressed. He expected more from the son of Jeremiah Youngblood. That's fine. At least I'm not having to kill the fucking dragon again. Right, so... Let's Hawk shift leader, the speed this is Hawk 3, down. Code red. 
Right, that's the mobile HQ. I'm going to find where is it? Right, okay, so let's formation running speed run and we wanna we wanna get it over here. We're gonna target that mobile HQ. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, code red. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, over. <sighs> nice, nice shot on the Oscout. Um, where's the mobile HQ? It's over there, right, okay, so we're doing pretty well. Fact. Oh, we did it, and it's dead. Chuin, um, sorry, Chion's grim face appears again. You have won this battle, young blood, because of your success today. The co coordinator asks for my return. I will have my revenge, young blood. I will not be cheated. I feel we will meet again. I will not be denied another challenge of mortal combat against both father and son. Wait, what? I will not be denied the challenge of mortal combat against both father and son. Until then. So he's still alive. Hmm. It's interesting. Save and continue. Okay. LP13. Um. Mobile HQ. Ah. It's a dropship. With Chuin, uh, Chuin's units retreating the Hawks. Sorry, Chion's units retreating. The Hawk returns to the hero's welcome at the base. Morgan gratefully acknowledges your success and debriefs you and your men. During the debriefing, Colonel Ch uh, Chion's claims of your father's death has come up. I trust Chion as far as I can throw him, Morgan says. Your father has knowledge of a Star League cache on Pacifica they want. Not to mention tremendous information about the Steiner internal security. Killing him is the last thing the curator would do. Chion tried to provoke you, hoping that your judgment on the battlefield would be affected. It appears you focused your anger and used it against him, much as your father would have done. <coughs> Excuse me. If your father is alive, he is probably being interrogated on Deron. Uh, the Karita Perfect Capital. Uh, sorry, the Karita Prefect Capital. You eagerly asked Morgan uh, to help you raid the city to find him, but he holds up his hands in helplessness. With the four succession war raging, neither you nor the Kelhounds have the firepower to wage a full scale assault on Deron with any hope of success. Morgan offers a suggestion, though. If you were to lead two lances of assault vehicles on a quick raid of Deron, he states, you might be able to rescue your father and get off the planet before the garrison has had time to react. I can arrange to get you the vehicles and some troops if you like. Rex and Kurt agree that any chance to get your father back is worth the risk. However, you realise the Crescent Hawks are lacking one mech warrior. You turn to Greece and ask if he knows anyone who would like to do the job. All eyes turn to him as he responds. Well, I know this is a tech who's had some for experience, but the Mexi pilots tend to get shot up a lot. That's fine. What I need is someone to drive a tank. A tank? Now there's a challenging machine to wreck. Count me in. You smile warmly. Rick Anderson, you are now officially a member of the Crescent Hawks. Map of the Inner Sphere, deer run. Right, okay, so that's where we're going. Inside the dropship, your men go through the last minute preparations for the assault. The mission itself is clear. The ship will drop you off at 1000 hours and will leave at 1200 hours before enemy aerospace fighters can intercept it. In that time, you must get to the city, free the prisoners, and return. If you're not back by 12, the ship will be forced to leave and you'll be left behind. Right, so I've got basically two hours. 
Because of the covert nature of this mission, direct communications will be impossible. Looking at Captain Shaw's disc of the pre-recorded uh, orders, you insert it at, into the Holovid viewer. This mission is currently in Operation Liberty. Please open the map of the surrounding area and of the city. Upon touchdown, you will see two paths leading to the city. The mountain path is longer, but is lightly defended. The forest path is faster, but much more heavily patrolled. Um, choose which way you feel is strategically best for your company. Access this disc again for more information when you pass the mountain. Right, so longer, lightly defended, or the faster route but heavily patrolled. Right, thanks. Uh, longer distance, light defense. Short distance, heavy defense. Oh, so the top ones do. Oh, I think I'll go on the mountain pass actually. Right, so I've got Rommel tanks. And I've got Pegasus. Okay. So I've got to basically go all the way up here. Alright, no problem. Oh, I've got two squadrons of it. Okay, that's fine. So we will go in formation. And we will move this way. Done. I can move this lot. Just stick them there. Increase the uh, game speed. Okay. Why are you going back? Pellet. Oh, you're only going back because you've been right. Okay, I get it now. Hawk leader, this is Raven leader. Over. We've arrived, no problem. Right, so kind of stuck now. Um, Hawk leader, this is Hawk 4. Over. Our coordinates. Our objective. 7. I have you lot go this way.
Hawk leader, this is Raven leader. Code red. Oh dear. Infantry has appeared. Um, let me get this down to two. Uh, this is just a mess. Right, I'll deal with this in the next episode. Um, because it just needs a bit of thinking. And I'm kind of in a rush at the moment. Yeah, I'm kind of in a rush at the moment because I wanted to get this done and I was hoping to do this offline. And I thought, oh, I know, I'll just record it. And it's kind of, yeah. So we've got to this good bit, which is good. Um, until the next video, I will see you then. Bye.